Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over how to simulate a biplane airfoil in OpenFoam. So here is the uh, post-processed results um, of one such simulation. Um, here we have a single bend airfoil uh, uh, arranged in a biplane configuration um, at an angle of attack of 12 degrees. So uh, here's the contents of the code that you can find in the link in the description. This case contains the open foam files. This clean script is just an uh, optional script to use uh, that cleans up the mesh uh, and case, fi uh, case files, generated mesh and case files. This is the mesh written in uh, GMSH. Uh, this is the README which contains all the instructions needed to run everything in this uh, in this code uh, in this uh, repository. This is a, a script that that contains all of the open foam related commands and these are some sample results uh, I computed uh, using this uh, repository. So the first thing, uh, to do is to mess with the or to adjust the parameters here we have the global uh, angle of attack which rotates the whole uh, the whole biplane configuration this is uh, this AO1, AOA1 and AOA2 are optional parameters to uh, allow for differential angle of attack of the top and bottom wings respectively the biplane stagger is how far forward the top wing is um, ahead of the bottom wing. Uh, it is well known that um, uh, top, the top wing being forward of the bottom wing is uh, <coughs> results in uh, better aerodynamic performance, higher lift uh, curve coefficients, and better uh, lift to drag ratios. Uh, the biplane gap is simply the cord normalized distance between the two airfoils and the bend height is the and the rest of the parameters deal with the single bend airfoil um, once those are set as desired you can generate the mesh by simply running this command found in the readme. And this generates this main.mesh here, which we will use uh, by converting it from the GMSH format to open foam format. And this is all contained in the run script. So here we see that here's the actual mesh conversion command. Here is the, uh, let's see, the chain, the, uh, this, this adjusts the, um, some of the fields, um, uh, that are, that are not valid due to, you know, a fresh conversion. Uh, everything is set as a simple patch when some of them are actually walls, uh, such as the airfoil and wind tunnel top and bottom. And this is the, this is the actual simulation command. Uh, all right, so you can simply run that, um, and you'll have your simulation running. Uh, as you can see, it outputs the lift coefficient and drag coefficient automatically for you, and this this output is defined in the uh, control dict file. As, as here. So you can modify this to your liking. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.